are you? I missed you. I also came with the butterfly that we met in the first lesson. Let's go on a trip and find out what's going to happen when we cross the rainbow bridge today. When the two kids crossed the rainbow bridge, there was a wonderful landscape in front of them. The colorful trees seemed to welcome the two children. The boy told the girl, I was sad because we couldn't find any houses, but now I'm feeling better. The girl said, Yes, I was sad too, but now I made a new friend and enjoy beautiful nature. I'm really excited to meet someone else in the future. Yes, as they cross the rainbow bridge, they see a very nice landscape. Let's draw colorful trees. Just like when we drew the girl, let's enjoy drawing and painting. Let's draw a long line from the center to the bottom of the paper. We need to draw down to the side and repeat it on the other side. Yes, this is the road. Do you remember that we painted a long road sideways when we made the fork in the road last time? And that's the side of the road. Now, if we assume that we're standing here, the road is ahead of us. The farther away the road is, the narrower the road looks and the broader it is in the front. So I will continue to draw this. I'll try to draw the trees here. First of all, let me draw the trunk as a long rectangle. Yes, and I'm going to draw a branch coming out of the trunk of the tree. And I'll draw the trunk so it's smaller in the back. Then I'll draw the branches in the back much smaller. Try this one too. Draw a trunk as a long rectangle. Draw the branches as small long rectangles. The branches spread to become smaller branches. So stretch them out into little smaller rectangles. Yes. After that, I will draw another small trunk and stretch the branches out. Then I'll draw the leaves. The leaves will be convex. It is difficult to draw each leaf one by one. So if you draw them as a convex shape like this, the inside space will be full of leaves. Now I'll change colors. There, 
there, I've drawn it all. Now, it's a little bit plain here, so I'll put some patterns on the ground of the road. Doesn't that feel more like ground? And then I'll draw some patterns on the road with a darker color. Yes, all done. So let's just paint this now, shall we? Prepare your container, a brush, and a palette. Put water into the container and dip the brush in the water like this. I'll paint the ground first. Now, last time we used the palette color by color, right? Yeah, so now the paint is dry. When I touch these colors, they are hard. Yes, now since the paints are all dried out, I'm rubbing the paint with a brush mixed with water. Then the color dissolves and the paint comes out. Now I will paint this land with this color. Water is running out. Then again, take some water and dissolve the paint to make paint. Yes, this time I'm trying to mix in a little bit of orange. It's like melting the orange in the water and then mixing it with the red brown. If you mix it all up, it will have a similar color that's very pretty. So mix it all up and paint the ground. Yes, now the ground is painted and I'm going to paint the trees next. I will also try to paint the trees a color that's similar to the ground. I'll paint the trees like this. Let's try to paint the trees inside the line. Now all of the trees are painted. I'm going to paint the leaves. This time, I don't want to draw the leaves or paint them with paint. I'll use my fingers. Here, let's squeeze the colors orange, red, and yellow. Did you squeeze out the paints? Then dip your fingers lightly in the paint to paint on the leaves with your fingers. I'll dip my finger in the yellow first. It would be great if you dip your fingers in a lot of colors that you like. Dip your fingers in paints more to express more. I'll dip my fingers in the orange and make orange leaves. And you can mix it with yellow. Yes, more and more leaves are being expressed beautifully. It's true, you could paint them with a paintbrush. But even with your fingers, you can show these leaves wonderfully.
So let's express the pretty red leaves now. Yes, I have shown the leaves in three colors. You can express them in another color. There, finally it's time to paint the background again. Let's paint it sky blue. Please show the sky by painting it sky blue. But even if you don't paint it sky blue, you can paint it your favorite color. Yes, I painted this side of the sky and I'll also show the grass by painting it a yellow-green color. You can paint with more green colors too. And please paint in a bright green. Ah, uh, it's finished. How was your class today? This drawing is very awesome because we could paint it so colorfully. I would like you to make as many pictures as you want. Then you can produce really wonderful work. Yes. So let's look forward to our time together next time. I will see you again next time. Bye-bye.